This video tutorial is going to show you how to create an image gallery using um, Lightbox and Dreamweaver. Um, to begin with, uh, you need to uh, create a uh, gallery folder, uh, preferably called gallery or lowercase. Um, and inside there, um, and you're going to have to do this in Photoshop or an image edit editor, um, create the images that you want to include in your um, image gallery. Now I'm only going to use four uh, images for this demonstration, but you'll know I've noticed I've created uh, image one thumb JPEG and then image one. So image one is actually only about 150 pixels wide. It's about 134 pixels uh, high. So essentially little thumbnails about, you know, no bigger than 150 pixels um, that will be displayed in your page. But when you click on them, they'll open to a larger image. And optimally for images on the web, you probably don't want to go much bigger than seven to 800 pixels in terms of width. Um, in fact, some of my images are about four or 500 pixels wide when they open up um, into the full screen. So create thumbs of your images, small versions, and then the larger versions that are about 800 pixels. And you can see I've got thumb, real Im uh, large image, thumb again of image three, large image and uh, thumb of image four, and then the large image in here. So once you've got that um, gallery completed and your image is ready to go for your gallery and your gallery folder completed, um, simply drag that gallery folder inside the images folder of your root folder. So this is our web folder that we're using for our course. Uh, and I just popped my gallery folder inside uh, my images folder that I have the other images from our previous um, tutorials. So now that I've got um, my images uh, in here ready to be loaded in my gallery, I can go ahead and open up Dreamweaver. And uh, this is where we left off. I have my index page that we were working on last tutorial. Um, and so I'm ready to create my new gallery uh, page. But just before I leave the image uh, or the index page that we're working on, Remember, we created a link to the gallery page, which we didn't have, um, and we created a uh, essentially a fake link, which was this um, null link down here, or the hashtag, or the pound sign, whatever you want to call it, um, which didn't take us anywhere. But since we're about to create a real page here, um, I'll show you that we how to um, actually link this and make it real. Uh, a, a real internal link to our gallery page. So um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to File, New, and create a new HTML page. Click Create. And we're going to go File, Save, and we're going to save this as gallery.html. That's what I recommend you do. And we're going to save it into the root directory, as you would expect, and click Save. So now we've got um, a, a blank HTML page. Um, the next thing we want to do is attach the style sheet that we created for the, our, um, our website, which is called Desktop CSS. Um, over here, you see it in the files area. To attach the style sheet, after we've saved our gallery.html page, um, we simply uh, go to the, and I'm going to double click to collapse the files area, and we go to the CSS panel and click on the plus button next to the sources, uh, uh, the sources link right here. So the sources uh, part of the CSS designer panel. Make sure you click plus. And we're going to simply attach existing CSS file. Um, and you can click Browse to look for the correct file. It's in our root folder, and it's called Desktop CSS, if you've been following along with the previous tutorials. And then click Open, 
click OK. And now you notice that the background of my gallery.html page switched to the same color as my index.html page because, of course, they're both attached to the same style sheet. Okay, so now um, we're ready to, um, first of all, before we start building this out too much, I'm going to go back to my index.html page. And remember I had the gallery link selected here. I'm going to now replace that um, hashtag, the little null link, with the real link to the file. And to do that, I click on the files panel here. You see the gallery page there in the files panel. And I'm simply going to use this point to file tool here um, and click and drag and I drop that on the gallery.html page and you can see now the hashtag has been replaced with gallery.html. There are three ways to add internal links in Dreamweaver. You can use the point to file tool as we just did or you can type the actual name in if you uh, know the actual correct name for the file which of course we do, it's gallery.html this is a little risky because you can make typos very easily. Or you can click on the little folder icon and browse for the file you want to make a link to as well. So that's that uh, works nicely with internal links. So now we've got the link here and we can save our index page. Um, we don't have to upload it yet because we've still got some work to do on our gallery page. So let's go back to the gallery page now and um, finish our work on putting together our gallery. Um, with the gallery page open, um, I'm simply going to go to insert, click on the insert tab at the top here, and I'm going to insert a div. And go to ID, and we're going to insert the container div. And you know we've created this before in the index page. So I click OK, and notice that the container is put in here. Um, and it's already um, centered in the middle of the page. It's 750 pixels wide that we, we've created the container before. So it automatically accepts the previous rule. Then I'm going to simply replace the placeholder text with my gallery. I'm going to hit return. Now, um, I want to just use the menu that we created in the other page, uh, in our index page. I don't have to recreate that again. So I'm going to go back to index.html and simply select my main menu um, container and make sure I've got the whole uh, div selected. If you have a hard time selecting this entire div with the contents, just click inside it anywhere and go down to the uh, tag line down the bottom of Dreamweaver here. Click on that and it'll select the entire div for you. With it selected, simply go to copy, go back to your gallery page, position your cursor where you want to insert the main menu, and paste. And so now we've got our uh, menu in here that we've already created. Also, I'm going to go to my gallery, highlight this, and I'm going to make give that a heading 1 tag, or an H1 tag. Um, now, you notice that it's left aligned, and I don't really like that a whole lot, so I'm just going to highlight this heading 1 tag, my gallery, um, and you can call it your gallery, whatever you want. But I'm going to double-click on the insert uh, panel to collapse that, I'm going to go down and choose um, selectors and add a rule. So, so to add a rule, um, I'm going to click the plus sign, and this is going to be a rule for heading one inside the container. So the rule it says is container pound container h1, and I just hit return. And all I'm going to do is go to the second icon from the left, the text and choose text align center. So now my you can see my gallery heading is text align centered. Then um, I'm going to go down under the main menu 
and position the cursor under the main menu. I'm going to go back to insert and I'm simply going to um, actually I'm going to choose uh, from the structure menu list and I'm going to choose a section and insert the section here um, at the insertion point and I'm going to call it image gallery section and click OK and the only rule I'm going to create for the um, image gallery section is I'm going to double click to collapse that I'm going to create a rule in my style sheet um, and actually I don't want container P I don't want that as part of my code so I'm going to get rid of that all I want is image gallery pound image gallery for the rule and I'm going to um, highlight that and I'm going to once again click on the text icon and center the contents of my image gallery with text align here and notice it says text align but it's really it should say content align because that's really what it's going to do um, so now we're ready to add our images. I'm going to simply highlight this placeholder text. I don't want to get rid of it yet because it'll be hard to click inside the div. But I highlight it and then I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to click on the pop-up menu, switch back to common and choose image. And I'm going to choose my first thumbnail image. Make sure you choose the thumbnail and not the full image and I click open and you can see there it left the text I don't want the text so I'm gonna get rid of the text without getting rid of the picture carefully there we go I've got my first thumbnail I'm just gonna to click to the right of it and insert my the next image which is image 2 thumb and then the next one image 3 thumb and then the last one for this demonstration, image four, thumb, and click open. So now I've got my image gallery in here, um, and my menu, and my um, my heading, and uh, at least four images. So I'm going to preview this and see how it looks. So I'm go to the globe, pull down menu, say preview in Safari. It says, do you want to save the gallery? I say yes. Uh, it says that um, some other files have been modified. I do I want to save them? Yes, that's probably referring to the style sheet. And then it brings up my images. And you can see nothing really happens, although our links in our menu appear to be good. The images, the thumbnails are all a little bit different, but generally it's okay. The only thing I might do is I want a bit of a separator between my menu and my images. So I'm going to um, quit the browser or at least hide the browser and I'm going to just click above um, actually I'm going to click the menu div and just use my right arrow to get to the right of that and then hit return so I get a space underneath my menu here so just let me show you how to do that again because that's a little bit of a trick you actually select the div and then use the right arrow key on your keyboard and then hit return and it should bring you underneath. I don't want to make the menu div bigger I just want to get a space underneath it. So here the cursor is blinking underneath my menu um, and I, all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the insert menu and insert a horizontal rule and this is just going to give me a little bit of a divider here uh, and I'm going to preview and see how that looks. Oh, and by the way, while I'm at it, I'm going to give the page a title. Um, I'll call it David's Gallery. And now I'm going to preview in the browser. Save changes, yes. And so now at least I've got a little bit of a uh, divider there. I've got this horizontal rule. I've got my menu items. Um, and my images ready to go on and start to add some code here. 
to make them look a little bit better, more like an image gallery, and allow them to open up the full images um, using Lightbox uh, JavaScript to do this for us. So um, that's the end of this tutorial, and uh, uh, the next one will show us how to add the code and activate our Lightbox gallery.